Hey beautiful, let's get going on this wonderful video. We're gonna talk about how to slim the face using face yoga. And the main thing that we're gonna to do today is some massage. But first, I just wanted to say to you that my name is Kari and I am a face yoga and mewing instructor. If you don't know what mewing is, check out my video about mewing. And um, yeah, so I'm coming to you from Greece. I'm here for a dance yoga therapy retreat in September and it's just it's been an incredible time and incredible experience so I wanted to share some of this with you by doing some face yoga together so what I want to talk about today is slimming the face mostly the lower face that's usually what we're talking about when we're talking about having a slimmer looking face and um, yeah so Grab some face oil, and we're gonna do some massage to help create a more contoured, slimmer looking lower face. So make sure to really get the back of your hands and just gently, gently pat it on the lower part of your face, the jaw, the chin, under the chin, front of the neck, and the upper lip area. So what happens is, is that in day-to-day -day life, we make lots of facial expressions and we use a lot of our facial muscles to eat, drink, and do all sorts of activities. And we don't release the tension. So people will get Botox in their lower face to relax these muscles, but we don't need to do that. We don't need to paralyze these muscles in order to get that more relaxed outcome, we can just use massage and use kind of a relaxing environment um, to, to relax these muscles. It's really important to release tension in the face because that will allow kind of your natural contour to come through, all right? And this kind of technique that I'm gonna show you, it's basically like manual gua sha. So you're relaxing the jaw muscles, the chin muscles, under the chin, even like the tongue muscles, upper lip. You're relaxing it using a tension release method that's basically like a gua sha tool, but with your fingers. So I invite you to take your hands into fists. I want you to take your knuckles here, just pin them right there, and we're gonna do some little circles to release the tension right here. So I'm pinning my knuckles and then I'm gonna draw little circles with my knuckles without moving my fingers. I'm basically just rotating the flesh underneath the skin in little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take your hands off, inhale and then put the fingers back on, exhale, and reverse the circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And it's really good to use your breath when you're releasing tension because when you inhale, you can bring fresh blood into the area. And when you exhale, you release the tension. All right, so let's go back to the jaw, back to this massage. And now let's just do side to side. So I'm moving my fingers, my knuckles, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slightly up and down. It's like I'm tracing against my bone underneath or my gum underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And shake your hands out. It's cheek vibration. Releasing tension in the hands, releasing tension in the lower face. So try to reveal your lower jaw. Just stretch it out a little bit. Make your best jawline and take your fist. And I want you to trace along the lower part, the lowest part of your face, really. This is the lowest bit. And this is really going to help just sculpt and relax tension here and you might feel little bumps and that is little muscle knots little muscle knots in these muscles I'll just do 10 times one and i hear lots of cute little insects buzzing around me right now here <laughs> in this island 
Oh man, I've become a lot more tolerant of insects after coming on this trip. If there's some bug next to me now, I'm not as flinchy as I normally would be. Still flinchy a little bit. All right, let's do the other side now. So moving to the other side, other fist, just tracing along. Try to relax the shoulders. Try to lower the, the shoulders and the chest. And you can do this slowly or you can do this quickly. Just whatever feels right for you right now. But make sure to use some pressure, okay? Make sure to really feel into some of these muscles. Mm, really good. So this is this is really working on the level of the jaw muscles. Really good. And we can do the same sort of thing, but this time going now underneath. So here, I'm going under. It's like more like the throat. It's under the lower jaw, like the double chin area. That's what we're going to work on right now, the double chin area. And you can just have your head just level like normal but I'm just showing you where we are. So taking the hands into fists again and just rolling the fists backwards along this whole spot. So I'm just kind of going on both sides, going back with a little bit of pressure. Inhaling and exhaling. Really good. Feeling those little tiny knots ah, of tension. And we can get a lot of tension here from forward head posture, like from looking at our devices, looking down at our phones, computer, laptop, even like cooking and doing dishes, just looking down in front of us. We can get lots of tension under here. And you can also just take your finger knuckles here this way and just kind of like rock them backwards like this. So this is also like helping to drain some of the fluid and lymph in the area because that can also contribute to some um, swel like swelling in the face. I think it feels really good too. <laughs> it's really nice. So tension release is such an important part of what we're doing here in this whole process. Oh, really good, amazing. All right, now let's do some chin stuff. So the chin tension is like this sneaky little gremlin that just creeps up, especially if you're releasing jaw tension, you're massaging it all the time, then often it will land in the chin, especially if our head is forward. So if we're having like, if we're like rounded or over like that with our the weight of our head kind of in front of our chest, we get a lot of chin tension. So by tucking the chin slightly, making sure that the head is very much resting on the spine, we don't get nearly as much chin tension. So it's probably a contributor. If you feel tension here, it's probably a posture change that can help prevent it in the future. So let's just start by taking our hands into fists again. And I want us to just kind of like sculpt just the chin. So I'm taking my index fingers all the way, touching each other all the way to the tip of my chin. So it's like a really tight little package right there. And then just scraping the tension like a gua sha against this part of my hand. So it's like this part of my chin, this part of my chin against these parts of my hand. And just scraping it up a few times. And now let's go from, we'll do the same kind of motion, but this time we're gonna go from the tip of the chin and we're gonna trace up the chin, up till we reach the lip. And just do that a few times. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Really good. And now we'll just work on one side and you can do a little bit of a jaw stretch. So stretching your face slightly over to one side. And then I'm just gonna go from the corner here of my chin right here kind of into this lower cheek area, all the way to the corner of my lip. Yeah, I'm just tracing upwards. All the way, actually, you can even do it all the way up to the nostril. <laughs> so I'm gonna go from the jaw, 
up to the nostril. We'll do that one more time. I'm using pressure. Mm -hmm. This is gonna stimulate collagen, hyaluronic acid, blood flow, tension release, just so many good things for the skin and the face. All right, whenever you're ready, you can switch to the other side. Just taking that fist onto the bottom of the jaw, tracing up, up and up towards the lip, a lower cheek area, and then up and then up and then up, all the way to the nostril. And we'll do the same thing a few times. Hmm, feels really good, really relaxing. Really good. All right, oof, that was like stimulating a lot of places now in one go. All right, so now I wanna do the like the front of the chin. So taking your hand into a fist, try it, let's do like your non-dominant hand. So I'm gonna do my left hand, hand to a fist, put the top of your fist, your index finger part, right under your lower lip. Okay, and just really like get it nicely, firmly on there. And then I want you to just do circles, tiny circles, without moving your, where your hand is on your skin. You're keeping your hand kind of stationary and you're just vibrating it around in circles. So one, two, three, one. And then the other direction. So this is really getting at the tension here. Now let's take two index fingers and fold them and put them right at the bottom corner of your chin, but like on the sides, so here and here. And just, let's just do tiny, tiny little circles. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let go, inhale. And go back on, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And release. Really good. And now let's do like around the lips. So just want you to take two fingers, the knuckles under the lip, and just go side to side without smearing. Again, same thing, we're just pinning it in and just moving gently kind of vibrating side to side and then the same thing on next on the next over to the corner of the lip and then the other corner really good and then let's just do the corners of the lip so one finger one knuckle against the right corner of the lip and massaging it against your teeth so i'm just doing little circles one two three four seven eight nine ten and I'm reversing one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lip tension can make such a difference, honestly. Like, there's something called a lip flip, where they, um, like, they inject Botox neurotoxin into the upper lip, and that relaxes the tension in the upper lip, and it ends up making your lips more plump. So it's really, really good to do some lip massage and. You know, you might not realize that you're having lip, lip tension, but when you release it, you realize you know what it is. Oh, there's a little kitty cat that wants to come up. <laughs> I'm actually allergic to cats, which sucks because they're so, so adorable. But here where I'm staying in Greece, there's these adorable three cats. So you might see them jump in and try to get involved. <laughs> All right, really good. Okay, and now let's do some of the upper lip. So um, let's just do taking the index finger, bending it, and then right on the bottom of the nostril here, let's do little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, under the nostril. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And reverse. It's kind of like in that little area between the nose, the cheek, the upper lip. It's like all these muscles come together and you can get lots of tension there. Really good. And now we'll just go a little bit more in. So like right under the hole of your nostril. 
same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So really make sure you're not making a big circle. Just make sure that you're, you're, you're really, it's like a tiny little motion. Yeah, and then the other side. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse. And breathe into it. Um, yeah, Chris, if the cat comes in, then it's okay. We'll, we'll just... <laughs> it's so cute. One little part at a time. I'm just doing little like side to side circles over like the actual lips. Just like five circles, five points on each part of your lip, upper and lower. So 10 total. Mm. Really good. And now let's just take our hands into fists again and just press them under your lips, like between the jaw and the chin and the lips right here. And just press them in the whole finger pad, like this whole part of the finger. And release. Press it in. And release. <laughs> Press it in. And I want you to slowly make your way up to this part of the cheek. And release. Press it in. And release. Press it in. And now let's, yeah, let's have our, uh, the pinky like on the corner of the lip. All these fingers are all in a line. It's like a like a joker smile kind of line. And I want you to really press these muscles in against your teeth, your gums, teeth, this whole area. And just exhale while you press. And try to have the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Try to mew while you're doing this, okay? So try to really bring the tongue up to the roof of the mouth. And now what we're gonna do the same thing with the knuckles, except this time we're gonna do little tiny circles. One, two, three. And I'm going quite deep. Look how deep my fingers are going in, into my face. The deeper, the better. So it's like, I'm really like, going in deep, very, very deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. And with my fingers in there, they're kind of like scraping a little bit, like a little gua sha, kind of scraping the tension. And so find now the jaw, so the jaw muscles here. So when you clench, you'll feel them. And we'll go a little bit further back up to those jaw muscles. And this, my uh, pinky and index finger are like almost by my chin even. So the hand is almost like at an angle from the lower part of your ear all the way to like your chin. Yeah, right in there. And so just get a nice spot in there of, of where the muscles are tense. And we're gonna go side to side like this, but very tiny, like two millimeters side to side. So it's like a vibration. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do 26, seven, eight, nine, 10. Tongue is out. And release. Come on, relax. Maybe get a glass of water. Relax the hands. Mm. Do tongue push swallow if you want to learn more about that. Learn more about mewing. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do the same sort of thing, except now we're going to go a little bit higher up. So we're kind of above the level of the upper lip. So more on the middle part of the cheek, right here. And under my fingers, under my knuckles, I can feel bone, my cheekbone. So it's not the gums anymore, it's now bone. Like right under the cheekbone. Okay, that, that hole under the cheekbone. And by my index finger, I can feel the corner of my jaw muscles. 
Yeah. All right. Really good. Get that placement and get nice and deep. Yeah. So we're going for a chipmunk look. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to hold it now. So just hold in that pressure. Nice, good pressure for one, two, three. And release. Just relax. And I want you just to gently scrape the muscles deep inside, kind of at an angle up and down like this. And your lips will kind of come together a little bit when you're doing it. That's how you know you're doing it right. So I'm really feeling un, like deep inside, like a couple of centimeters or a centimeter deep inside like this one. And I'm scraping kind of downward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of down and out. Seven. Mm. 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 going. I'll just do 20. It should really be starting to soften up in there. It's like you're kneading little tiny pizza dough breads. <laughs> little mini pizzas. Mm. Really good. Really good. Amazing. So let's just finish up with kind of an overall massage of the whole lower face area. Uh, one hand into a fist, other hand kind of holds the other side of the face, spreads it over a little bit, and then we're just going to rock this whole knuckle spread here, this whole line of knuckles, from all the way from the top, from like the top of your ear, and all the way down to your chin. And I want your pinky to be like going almost to the eye. It's like the whole, whole cheek. Basically try to get the whole fist to just get as much surface area as possible. Going down. And really try to get this area between like your cheek and your lip, like the nasal labial here. Mm, go up and down here for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then here, one, two. Make sure you're nice and oily for this to get some good slip. And you can even just trace along the jawbone. And then get into that jaw a little bit. You can do some concentrated work into the jaw muscles here. Right in front of the ear. Right in that little pocket. Making sure to breathe and relax. I'm gonna get a little bit more oil because it's kind of all soaked in. <laughs> and then the other side, so really in the back of the knuckles, taking your other hand, kind of putting that part of your face, spreading it a little bit, and the other knuckles go all the way from the tippy top all the way to the bottom of the chin and back. So we're really, we're really um, ironing out the tension this whole kind of hemisphere of the face. And while you're doing this, like, you know, you can kind of feel the whole area. So you'll be like, oh, that's not too bad, not too tense. Ooh, that's really tense. Like, it'll give you a sense of where there's the most tension. Mm. And then I like to just kind of find my corner of my jawbone and then just kind of trace along like between two hooked fingers. So I take my, my two front fingers, index finger, middle finger, and I like make a little hook shape, kind of massage, like gua sha almost. And then I'll just do a little bit on the actual like strongest jaw muscle all the way in front of the ear. Just a little up and down, a little circle, a little bit of pressure deep into that jaw muscle. This can get so tense from eating, you guys. Eating and clenching. And, and if you're clenching, if you clench at night, if you grind at night, if you're clenching your teeth, if you, if you suffer from bruxism, that's a clue that the airway, your airway, 
is collapsed to some degree or it's somewhat constricted and you're not able to breathe enough at when you're sleeping. So the jaw is trying to like open your airway essentially by grinding. That's a body's way of saying we need more space essentially. So yeah, I would really recommend looking into mewing if you struggle with this because that you know, in the long term, will get to the root of the of the problem. Let's now finish this up. We'll do a little bit of a drain of all of the stuff that we just relaxed. So just taking your hands and just gently going from like inner cheek up here and down the neck. Just lightly moving the lymph, very gentle pressure, about 10 times. Like the opposite of our tension release. I think it's really good to do some sort of massage on the face at least once or twice a week at the minimum, if not every other day or something like that. Um, absolute minimum a couple times a month for so many more benefits than just aesthetic. I mean it's going to be great for the skin, you're going to look great. Um, now let's move along kind of over the lip and down but it's also really good for um, just relaxing like your emotional health. It's really good for regulating your emotions because we get, we get these tensions in our face from emotions. The tension kind of can keep you there. So if you have tension from anger or from sadness or from loneliness or from overwhelm, any sort of emotion, even from, even from smiling, even too much tension from smiling and happiness and joy can cause discomfort and can cause you know negative feelings and that can lead to headaches and all sorts of things so this is also really good just for your general overall well-being and health all right so oof i hope you enjoyed this awesome massage i enjoyed doing it with you thank you so much for doing it with me and if you want to learn more about slimming the face and different techniques of slimming the face, please check out my videos on double chin and um, creating a more defined jawline, and especially check out my videos on mewing. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys all again very soon and see you next time.